Probably the biggest problem with the Big Bang, though, is it actually goes against common sense. Because what do you guys know about explosions? What do you know about bombs? What do bombs make? Do they make everything nice and neat out there? No, what do they do? They destroy things. That's what explosions do. They don't create, they destroy. Think about this. Let's pretend that in the backyard, you guys would like to have a playhouse, okay? So what do you do? You go out into your backyard. You get a big old pile of lumber. And then you have your dad come over and place a bomb into that pile of lumber. Your dad lights that bomb. And what's going to happen, guys? Kaboom! That's what's going to happen. You're going to have this huge explosion. Now, when all the dust settles down and everything, is this what you're going to have when it's all done? A nice little building like that? No way. What's going to act? What are you actually going to have? Well, what you're going to have, you're going to have a hole in the ground, you're going to have fire and noise, and if your poor old papa is standing too close, he's going to be destroyed too, because guys, that's what explosions do. They destroy things they don't create. But yet evolution tries to teach us that all this perfect order that we see in the sun, the moon, and stars, and all the planets that are necessary for life all happen by an explosion, by chance and by accident. See, that is, goes against common sense, doesn't it?